During my three-month journey to India to direct my newest documentary film involving the Dalai Lama and the Karmapa about finding the meaning of life, I decided to travel to the quiet hills of the Himalayas to visit Tibetan Buddhist nun Jetsuma Tenzin Pamo and speak with her about her insights about life as well as about the release of her new book entitled Into the Heart of Life. Here's a part of our conversation. It's so much. Hey, hey good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. I hope it all goes well, and you have a wonderful meeting with His Holiness tomorrow. Thank you. Thank and you. And that he has some interesting things to say. Thank you. Mm. Well, it's it's for it's for the audiences. You know, that's. That's why we're making this effort. Yeah, it's good. People you know, pick up a lot when they see it. Yeah? The intention. The intention always shows. Oh. One's intention. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much for your time. It's so lovely. Lovely to see you. Shall we Pleasure. go down together? Yes, yes. First, actually, let's speak about your uh, book. It's called Into the Heart of Life. Yes. Which is a, a wonderful title. Yes, it's a nice title. We, we played around with all sorts of titles. Um, but that was one that, uh, when someone suggested it, we all zeroed in on. Mm. Mm. Because the book is also uh, about how to integrate uh, the Dharma and one's spiritual path into one's daily life and not keep them separate. So actually, it's a very apposite title. So how did you first come up with the idea of writing your book, this particular book? Oh, well, it's not. I didn't actually write it. It's, um, again, transcripts from various talks I gave, especially in America and Australia. And then uh, my American publisher, Snow Lion, um, had for a number of years been saying, how about another book? Because they had published Reflections on the Mountain Lake. And then this very nice lady called uh, Camille, Camille Hikes, um, she is a professional editor. And she wrote and said, I would love to um, go through the various transcripts of your talks and edit them for you to put them into a book. So, um, I mean, that was enormously kind. So therefore, the, the two um, requests came together. And so she worked very hard on that. And then after that, um, we also looked through it again. And then Snow Lion, of course, also edited it. And um, so, yeah, here it is. And it's being released around the world? Uh, well, at the moment, it's being released in um, America and in uh, Australia. And apparently they've already had uh, applications from uh, uh, Taiwan and also from mainland China to translate it into Chinese. Fantastic. Mm. There's a lot of interest nowadays in uh, the Chinese population about Buddhism. Mm -hmm. um, and they asked me, Amanda asked me to ask you also uh, about your book, of your of your intention in writing the book? Well, as I say, the book is basically focused on those aspects of Buddhism, such as the, uh, the six perfections, the six paramita, and uh, the lojong mind training, and so forth, which can be incorporated into our daily life. I mean, they're just, you know, um, teachings on how to be more generous, more kind, more patient, how to um, learn to begin to overcome our chronic uh, self-concern and start realizing the importance of others, and so forth. So that these are basically most of the theme throughout the book is on dealing with everyday life situations and how to um, use those as our spiritual path. Because people tend to think in Buddhist, uh, about Buddhism and also sometimes in, in Western Buddhist circles, you know, when you sit on your 
your cushion meditating, when you go to the temple, when you go to the Dharma center, this is, um, you know, this is Dharma, this is Buddhism. And your life with the family and your job and your social life, that's so much worldly activity. And so there's this big hiatus between the two. And uh, that is a misapprehension of what the Dharma is about. Unless we use the Dharma in our daily life, under all circumstances, there will never really be a transformation. Mm -hmm. You have to apply it into all aspects of your life. Of course. When not, we have to become the Dharma. You know, the Dharma has to be at the center of our lives, not just on the periphery when we have a bit of time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, and I wonder also if you have a message, um, she also asked me to ask you, mm -hmm. if you have a message to, to your friends and students in Australia who have come to, to help launch your, your, your book. Well, I am always very um, amazed and humbled by the amount of, of, of kindness and selflessness which so many people show towards helping promote not only my own books, but also the well-being of our nunnery. And in particular, Australia have always been very close to my heart because we have many good friends there and I always enjoy very much going there. And they have always been so supportive. Most of our, so many of our personal assistants here are actually Aussies. In fact, I sometimes am surrounded by, by Australians in all directions. And um, I, I really am very um, deeply moved by, by their, their commitment to, to helping us. Right from the very beginning, our, our very first helpers were Australians. And even now, our helpers are Australians. And uh, thank you, Australia. Thank you. Thank you.